Hey everyone, it's a Sunday NFL free play between the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm Tony George from DocSports.com. Be sure and thumbs up and subscribe so you're always getting notified on this channel when myself or any of the handicappers are putting up their free plays or shows. So you're getting all the free stuff that you want and notified when it's available to you. Also, we got a free 60 bucks link in the description below. Expand the description. Just go to the website. There's a tab there. New members get a free $60 in their account. Comes with a profit guarantee and absolutely zero strings or hassles either. So let's get to this, and then we'll tell you what's going on over at the website. we got a couple big plays both in the NFL and in the NFL prop market here for you on Sunday. Now, I'm taping this on Saturday, and this is a Saturday line. It's Saturday afternoon. I wanted to get this out early enough because it's a 1 o'clock Eastern game for everybody. So let's talk about this. And the Cleveland Browns, uh, for lack of a better term, are dumpster fire. Now, I am not ready in any way, shape, or form to lay double digits with the Philadelphia Eagles. They've been a disappointment this year. Uh, they were overrated coming into the season. Um, I thought they could win the division just because Dallas is going to be Dallas. And Dallas has got their hands full today with the Detroit Lions. However, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in Cleveland. This is just an absolute mess. Offensively, they're broken. They Watson is not the guy, and they're going to stick with him because they're paying him buku dollars, you know. And if they put Jameis Winston in there as his backup, which a lot of people are calling for, to remember, you know, the reason Jameis Winston is a starter in the NFL anymore is because he's a human turnover machine. So that's your alternative, and they're going to be playing from behind, and he's going to be chucking the rock all over the place whenever he gets in there, and that's going to happen. And they know that as well. So they're kind of double screwed there. But the bottom line is you can talk about all the offensive woes of the Cleveland Browns this year. But what you're ta talking about is because of those offensive woes, no one's talking about the defensive regression they've had. That's because the defense is getting handed the ball more than they were the last couple of years. This offense just isn't working and they're on the field a lot more. And we're going here with a well-rested home team off a bye that got all their studs healthy on offense. And the big mismatch in this game, and we all know about Garrett, his prowess over there at Cleveland on the defensive line. This is a very good offensive line, one of the better ones in the NFL. And Barkley, they're going to run Barkley a lot, and he's going to have success against them running the ball. And when that happens, that's going to open up that passing game. And with a well-rested team and kind of a downtrodden Cleveland team, I like the Philadelphia Eagles on the first half line, minus five and a half. I think they'll be up a touchdown by halftime. I think it's a solid line. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know what's going to happen towards the end of the game, but I think Cleveland will come out here very dialed in for this game, very well prepared, despite sometimes I think lack of coaching they have. But they've had a bye week here and they got healthy. And uh, you're going to see a lot of, uh, Basically, fundamentally sound football out of the gate. And I think Cleveland's going to have a lot of problems with them. I really do, especially up front. As good as everybody thinks Cleveland's defensive line is. I don't see them doing much offensively here. Honestly, I, I, I'll i take Philadelphia on the first half line. Minus the five and a half over at DocSports.com. We've got WNBA Finals. We have NASCAR. A kind of a half road course, half oval called the Roval today. We'll have a play out in NASCAR. Uh, we have a seven unit top play in the NFL on a four pack. We're going to get it done today. And we have been red hot in uh, NFL props. How hot? Case two seven units in the last two weeks and hit 10 out of 12 props, including hitting the seven unit on Monday night. We got a six unit top play. Uh, on a four-pack of NFL props for you, and those cards are $25. Doc Sports, go get them. Have a good Sunday.